Hello there. Now let's solve question 5 of February 2009, which pertains to the structure of organic chemistry molecules. The question say, gives us a molecule known as lisinopril and asks us to find out the degree of unsaturation of this compound. Now organic chemistry compounds can be characterized as saturated or unsaturated. Saturated organic chemistry compounds have maximum number of hydrogen atoms, whereas unsaturated organic compounds have not maximum but somewhere uh, enough of hydrogen atoms that more hydrogen atoms can be still be added in the total compound. Now how do you predict or recognize unsaturation in an organic compound? Well, the presence of, of uh, double bonds and rings helps us to identify a degree of unsaturation. And if you look at the, double, at the structure in given in question, we see that there are many double bonds and there are rings too. Now if you just count the number of double bonds and rings, we can arrive at the degree of unsaturation. So in order to calculate that, we see, we let's, let's calculate count the double the number of double bonds so count double bonds and or rings if this is given in our, our, if the rings are part of the question we see in our in our in our drug that is given lisinopril there are rings as well as double bonds so let's count that and then when once we do that we can also use we can also discuss another way of degree of unsaturation which is based on the formula if we count a degree of unsaturation based on the double bonds we see there are there are three in the benzene ring three double bonds four five six and then there are two rings a benzene ring and a, and a cyclopentane ring that makes six double bonds plus two rings gives us eight degrees of unsaturation. Another way to calculate the degree of unsaturation is through this formula, 2n plus 2 minus x divided by 2. Notice when I talked about saturated organic compounds, I said maximum number of hydrogen atoms. When a compound is saturated, it will contain 2n plus 2 number of hydrogen atoms, where n is the number of carbon atoms and X is hydrogen atoms. So a saturated compound will always have C 2N plus 2 hydrogen atoms. So example, butane C4H10 is saturated because it has 4 C4. If you input N is equals to 4, then you get 10 hydrogen atoms and that's what we have. And if you were to apply that into the formula, then we could get, we would get C4 which would get, uh, give us 10 minus the amount of hydrogen atoms given in the question which would be 8. So let's do a degree of unsaturation for butene and we would see that 2, 4 plus 2 because N is the number of carbon atoms and we have a bigger parenthesis minus how many are hydrogen are given in question divided by two. And once we do that, we see that ten minus eight is two divided by two is one. So it will be one degree of unsaturation because it has one double bond. Similarly, for this using this formula, whenever we encounter oxygen atoms, we ignore the oxygen atoms in this formula. But whenever we see nitrogen atoms, and there are three nitrogen nitrogens in this molecule, we replace each nitrogen by one carbon and one hydrogen in the formula. So the answer is D, and degrees of unsaturation is eight.